everyone. So today I've been challenged, and it's a difficult one, to pick only one of my cookbooks. If I could only have one in my kitchen, which of my eight cookbooks would it be? And you know, it's a very hard question because when you have eight of them, they're like children, and picking a favorite is difficult, but I've done it. And it's this one, Everyday Thermo Cooking. Now, why I picked this one, if it's the only one of my cookbooks you own, is because when I wrote this book, the idea was I wanted a recipe for every single day of the year. I wanted the quick fix meals when you get home during the week and you know, you've got to put dinner on the table super quick. I wanted the fancier recipes from the weekend when you've got some time, maybe you're entertaining, maybe you want to do some baking. I've then got the breakfast, I've got the lunchbox snacks. You know, from your, from your whole week covered, your whole day covered, it's in this book. And it's also got an entertaining menu, which I really love, which covers off on all the different dishes for that um, dinner party and also what to do in advance, those kind of things. And you know, when I entertain, when I have a dinner party, I write myself a little list of, this is what I'm gonna do a day before, this is what I'm gonna do an hour before. So I've included that in the book to make your life easier um, and get you organized in the kitchen. But the one, probably the main reason actually why I think this book is the most versatile um, for everyone at home and certainly for me when I'm cooking is my waste not section. And in this section, what I thought was, you know, I can give you one recipe that's got the exact rest, the ing exact ingredients um, that I like and, you know, the best flavor combination I could come up with. But at the end of the day, when you're at home, that might not be the ingredients you have on hand, it might not be the ingredients that are in season at the time, and it might not even be the ingredients that your family likes to eat. So by in the waste nut section, what I did was I wrote recipe guides rather than formal recipes. So instead of saying, um, you know, radishes and green beans, I've said 300 grams of vegetables or 300 grams of hard vegetables or root vegetables, for example. So then you can take what ingredients you've got, what's in season, what your family likes, and turn them into a delicious dinner. So really, with the 10 waste not recipes, I've given you a whole host of ideas how you can use your Thermomix to cook quick and easy meals. Um, there's some smoothies in there, there's even some sweets in there. So this book is the one that's dearest to my heart and I think the most versatile for everyone at home. So if I'm picking my favorite, it's this one, it's this one. But you know what I'd love to hear? If you could only have one of my cookbooks, for anyone that owns more than one, which one would it be? Tell me which one is your favorite. And I'm sure it'll help anyone out there that is interesting, interested in buying my books and wants to know where to start. So leave a comment in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Thank you.